Well, here's my idea of a, uh, a debris pickup uh, for my CNC router. Uh, I guess they call it a pressure foot. I guess they call it a pressure foot because the atmospheric pressure is 14.7 psi pushing in there. And then uh, these uh, two mount on either side of my uh, uh, actuator and it's fully adjustable uh, up and down and then uh, I can move it uh, side by side with this adjustment and then uh, there's a slot in here and I can move it forward and backwards is in, com in comparison to where it is on the uh, actuator. So uh, here's the pickup. I just put my hose in there and the reason I designed it this way, first of all, I did it out of uh, epoxy and uh, fiberglass, made a shape out of foam as you can see there, and, la and laid up a flat uh, sheet of, uh, of glass for the bottom. That's where the cutter goes. And then this will ride, uh, as I understand, a sixteenth to an eighth uh, inch uh, above the table. And then, of course, the uh, router, the router will, when mounted, will uh, move up and down out of the hole. But the reason I like this is, once you get it adjusted, all I do is bring up my router and I can change my tool, bring it right down, and I'm ready to go. Uh, as opposed to a, uh, a brush type foot, um, the, uh, uh, you have to uh, take the brush off, raise your foot, change it and everything. So I've already tested this with vacuum and it seems to work fine. I don't know if this does any good. I just put that on there for looks, a little venturi. Um, but anyway, that's my idea of uh, a pressure foot. Uh, I think it'll work fine. One advantage is, uh, say this is the edge of your work, it will uh, keep sucking until it gets to the uh, radius of the hole on the bottom. There's no difference. Whereas if this was a brush and it ran off the side there, well, you'd immediately lose uh, suction, but uh, not here. This, so you can see where the edge of the board is. It will start losing suction right there on the bottom, if any, because the hole is smaller. Uh, I'm.